Good morning. Let's start with the equation for work. Flippin physics. The equation for work is W equals F times D times the cosine of theta, or work equals force times displacement times the cosine of the angle. F is the force doing the work on the object. D is the displacement of the object. Theta is the angle between the other two variables in the equation, the force doing the work and the displacement of the object. When using the equation for work, use only the magnitudes of the force and the displacement. It is the cosine of the angle which determines whether the work is positive or negative. Billy, could you please pick up that dictionary which is on the shelf next to you? Oh, sure. And could you please place it on the palm of your left hand and hold your arm out straight? Yep, just, just hold it right like that. Bobby, is Billy doing any work on the dictionary? I'm not really sure. Okay, well, you know, Billy is waiting for you to figure it out. Uh, okay, uh, well, uh, clearly Billy is applying a force on the dictionary. Um, oh, but the displacement of the book is zero, so the work done then is zero. Bobby, exactly right. Uh, Billy, could I have the book now, please? Yes. Thank you, Billy. Now, Billy, you didn't do any work on the dictionary because the displacement of the book was zero. But did it feel like you were doing work? Y yes. Which is why I go through that example, because our common everyday perception of the concept of work is very different than the physics definition of work. Okay, let's go through some examples of doing work on the book. Class, as I lift the book upward, please point in the direction of the force I am applying on the book. Correct. The force I am applying on the book is upward. Now, class, please point in the direction of the displacement of the book. The force applied on the book is up, and the displacement of the book is up. Class, what is the angle between up and up? Zero, zero. degrees. And what is the cosine of zero? One. One. Therefore, as I lift the book upward, because the cosine of the angle between the force applied to the book and the displacement of the book is positive, I do positive work on the book. Now, as I lower the book down, class, please point in the direction of the force I am applying to the book. Actually, no, even though the book is moving down, I am not applying a force downward on the book. Class, please point, look at, look at my hand and point in the only direction I can point, I can apply a force on the book. So as I lower the book, the force I apply on the book is up, and the displacement of the book class is? Down. down. And therefore, the angle between up and down is? 180. And the cosine of 180 degrees is? Negative one. one. Therefore, as I lower the book down, I do negative work on the book via the force applied. However, I am, mine is not the only force doing work on the book. The Earth also does work on the book via the force of gravity. So, as I lower the book down, please point in the direction of the force of gravity. The displacement is still down, and class, the angle between down and down is zero. zero. And the cosine of zero is positive one. Therefore, as I lower the book down, the Earth does positive work on the book via the force of gravity, and I do negative work on the book via the force applied. Okay, another example. As I walk with the book at a constant velocity, please point class in the direction of the force I am applying on the book. Again, the only direction I can apply a force on the book right now is up, and because the displacement is to your left, class, what is the angle between up and to your left? 90, 90 degrees. And the cosine of 90 degrees is? Zero. zero. Therefore, as I walk with this book at a constant velocity, because the angle between the force applied and the displacement is 90 degrees and the cosine of 90 degrees is zero, the work I do on this book via the force applied is zero.
Oh boy, we need to be really careful to identify which force is doing the work on the object and exactly which angle to use in the work equation. Yeah, but theta is always the angle between the force and the displacement. That's not so hard. Absolutely. Uh, Bobby, could you please work out the dimensions for work? <laughs> That's funny, Mr. P. Work out the dimensions for work. Okay. Uh, force is in newtons, displacement is in meters, and the cosine of an angle... Actually, the cosine of theta doesn't have any dimensions, so work is in newton meters. Yes, work has units of newtons times meters, which we give a special name for. It's called joules, and we use a capital J to identify joules. So we have a new unit. It is called joules or newton meters. Work is a scalar. Therefore, Bo, what is true of work? Work is a scalar. So it does not have direction. It only has magnitude. Correct. Now, it is common for students to think that scalars can not be negative, but this is not correct. Scalars can be negative. One good example for this is money. I think you would all agree that money is a scalar, right, Platt? Yeah, sure. I guess so. I, I mean, $2 west just doesn't make any sense. Nope. Uh, no. $2 west. No, that doesn't make any sense. Therefore, money is a scalar, and you can certainly have negative money. Most of us do. It is called debt. Johnny. Four weeks, 20 papers. That's two dollars plus tip. Gee, Johnny, I don't have a dime. Sorry. Didn't ask for a dime. Two dollars. Well, it's funny, see, my mom had to leave early to take my, my brother to school and my dad to work, cuz... Two dollars. Cash. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you. <laughs>